Did you know you can pre-fill some or all of your answers in a Google form and send it as a custom link? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do just that using data in Google Sheets to come up with that final link. And so I'm going to show you an example of what this would look like, just like this. And then these are already pre-filled and it makes it faster for the respondent to cycle through and then submit their answers. So let's start by looking at how to get the pre-fill link in Google Form, and then we'll go into how to merge that with our data in Google Sheets. So in your Google Form, if you go over here to the three dots, you can click on this and then go to that pre-fill form link. And then in here, you can submit whatever answers you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pre-fill all these fields so we can get the relevant information that we need to move forward. And so I'm just going to pick a couple options here and then I'm going to click get link. And then we get this pre-filled link right here. So copy link and then we can just open a new tab, paste that link. And there we go. You can see these are all pre-filled and this makes it quick to then submit. All right. So what is in this link that we can use to pre-fill in our Google Sheet? So first of all, let me just paste that link there. It's still in my clipboard. And if I pull this down, you can see, first of all, here's our basic link. And you can see I did that there. And this is just your responder link here. And so if you pull that into here, that's the first part of this link. And so let's go into here. Let's remove that so we can see it goes up to view form. And so let's delete this. And then now we can quickly and easily see what's happening. So first of all, it has this first part, which is question mark USB equals PP underscore URL. And then we have a series of these. So ampersand entry dot a sequence of numbers equals and then our answer. And one thing you'll notice is that spaces are replaced with a plus. And so then you can see here's our next one, which was our age. Our next one, which was our location and so forth. So all we really have to do is pull this apart, insert these answers from our Google Sheet, and then we can come up with a pre-fill link here at the end. So we're going to add this link at the end. So we'll start with just this part. Let me delete this again real quick. We're going to start with just putting this part together and duplicating it in here. So the first thing we're going to do is take these IDs because that's what these are question IDs. We're going to take these out and I'm going to put them above each question. And so there is our name. Here is our age. And type of gift. So now one thing you'll notice is that for each of our options selected here, it repeats that question ID with the option selected. And so what we can do here is we're just gonna add this above each one. And then what we're gonna do is put together a formula for each field that we have something selected, we're gonna pull it through into this. And so let's just show as an example, if this is blank, we'll do nothing. Otherwise, we're going to do basically grab this entry and then add that. So. This obviously is not quite what we need here. And so let me just read this. But if we pull this down, you can see it's kind of almost there. So here's what we need to do. We need to get this other part here, which is this ampersand entry dot. So let's add that into there inside of double quotes. And then we need to add Another thing between and this needs to be equals. And so now we're getting closer. So if we look here, you can see we have and entry dot. There's the ID equals and then John plus Doe. We need to do one more thing in here and we need to do regex replace and then do a space with a plus. And as you can see now, it's doing that correctly. So at this point, we have our 
first answer. And so if we drag this down, you can see now it's pulling those in. And so if we added something else here, we do just a first name, it shows up just like that. If we add a last name, then it adds that plus. So well, that is working great. So we have our first one. All we basically have to do is repeat this for each of these fields and then put them all together and put this at the beginning of it and then we'll have our link ready to go. So let's go ahead and build this through. So the age is going to work the same way. And so we can just take this whole thing, copy it, and then we're going to do an ampersand here. And what we're basically doing is building a series of strings. And so if nothing's in this field, we're going to do nothing. Otherwise, we're going to add. And so here we can change this now to D, change this to D, and change this to D. Now this one, we probably don't need this because we're not going to have any spaces in our age. And so we can just do that. Let's go ahead and just copy this and then paste values only. And so there you can see that. Um, let's just do it equals to this and then we can just see that at all times. All right. So that gives us our age and then we need our location. So we're just going to repeat this again and we do have ones with spaces, so we'll need a similar to what we had for our name. So I'm just going to take this first one again. And then another ampersand, paste, and then change these to E. Just like that. And then let's select a location. And there you can see it pops in there. Change it to Grandma's house. There it is. You can see it looks just like our one down here. Here's our grandma's house. And it's showing up just like that up here above. So let's go ahead and keep going. Let's add a date in here. So let's say 12, 25. Now, one thing here is you notice it is coming through in a specific format. So it's coming through in this specific format. So year in a four digit dash month dash day. And so we want to make sure we do that. And so let's go ahead. We'll take this one because we can make this a little bit simpler. And then let's change this to F. Our ID and F2 and then our entry date. And so you can see here it's showing up actually as a number. And so what we're going to do here then is wrap this in a text function. And what this allows us to do is to change those numbers into a specific format. So let's check that out. There we go. Now we have 2024-12-25. Looks just like that. And so what we're doing here is inside this text formula or function, we're doing, you can do numbers in different formats like this, but we're doing a four digit year, two digit for the month, and two digit for the day. All right, so now we just need to go through on these. And so this is going to look a little different. Now, one thing to keep in mind is these options need to match exactly what's in the Google form. That's one thing to keep in mind. And so what I'm using here, you could do this in different ways. We could actually make this a drop down with a multi select. So kind of like this and adding a multi select now that they allow us to do that. I'm just going to do a checkbox. I feel like it's a little easier to manage, but again, you can use whichever method you want. In the end, all you need is to come up with a string with that. So what I'm doing here is I match these. They're the exact same as what's in here. And so that's important to keep in mind. And so if that's the case, then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through, let me take this simple one again. I'm going to go through and for each of these fields, if it's true, then we're going to add it. And so here, instead of, um, we need G, but then instead of grabbing this cell, to be true or false, we're actually gonna grab that header here, which is G4. And so just like our ID, I'm gonna add a dollar sign. And if you notice, I don't know if you noticed, if you add the dollar sign before the four, it doesn't change when you drag it down. Go ahead and drag this down. Actually, I have this 
backwards. I need to do false. That was the thing about that backwards. So it's false, then we do nothing. And so now if we drag this down, there we go. Let's just change this to six to see what happens there. And Toys or Games. All right, so let's go ahead, change this back to our top one. And I'm just gonna finish it out on this one and then we'll drag it down. So now all I need to do is take this same thing for Toys and Games and repeat it for Electronics, Clothing, Books, and the Household. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so now I have all these down here. We hit enter. You can see I did this. So if you want to add a new row, what you do on a PC is hit control shift and then it drops part of that formula down to a new line. And this just makes it a little easier to process where we're at. So at that point, we have all this checked. And so if we check any of these, you can see that those show up and only the ones that we select. And so let's pull this all together. So we're almost done. We just need to add this first part right here. And so let's add that at the beginning. Just like that. And now we have pretty much the exact same thing. I think we change this to 30. And then Toys and Games and Electronics. This is now the same as the one that we did as a sample. So all we need to do now to turn this into a link is add our response link here. And so we could do this. We could do C1 ampersand to combine. And now we have our link. And I need to lock this. I'll just hit F4. And then we can drag this down again, make sure it's all good to go. And then this one doesn't want to turn into a link for the moment. So we could do something like this hyperlink. And we call this refill link. Like that. And there we go. And then we can drag this down here. And then we have these prefill links. So if we click on this, there's John Doe, 30, Grandma's House, and our options there. Let's go ahead and do a couple things here. Let's just change these up so we can kind of see what these would look like. So let's just do this and then we'll pick a couple different options there. Let's go ahead and check out this Jill Smith. So it should be Grandma's House and only Household. So Jill Smith, Grandma's House, Household. So that is perfect. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope this helps you see how you can take all this data and pull it through to those pre-filled links. And so again, you can customize these as well if you want to add, for example, that name. And we could do something like this. John Doe's pre -fill link, pull those down. And now you can see those pulling just like that. We could also do something like if C5 is equal to blank, then do nothing. And we could pull that down and then it doesn't show up when you don't have any responses or anything to add there now again you might be filling in one or more of these fields and so if you're not filling the name for example the age and you're just filling some of this other stuff then you can adjust this as needed to wherever you want to be pulling from all right so that is it for today's video make sure to check out the link in the description below if you would like to make a copy of this google sheet template so you can dig into it a little bit more on your own. And then make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.